Good morning, man. You know why I'm here. Today is eBay reselling day. This is when me and girlfriend go to Goodwill and we try to find money literally sitting on the shelf. And uh, I'm very hopeful. I do want to just say one thing. I'm very hopeful that this Saturday I'm going to be going garage sailing. Very, very hopeful. Don't know for sure if I'm going to be going, but I'm very hopeful. But for now, we got to stick to Goodwill. And the, the reason I, I'm so like interested in garage sailing is because when I go to Goodwill and I see something that's like $4.98, $3.98, you can't you can't negotiate a price in a Goodwill, right? Whereas if you find something for like $3 at a garage sale, you could try to negotiate down to $1.50, right? Or even a dollar. It just, your profit margins are so huge at garage sales and the quality of items at garage sales are a little bit better because generally people take care of their stuff as opposed to a Goodwill where they pretty much run over every shirt with, uh, with um, uh, what's it called? A forklift, you feel me? I don't know how many times I found a shirt with oil on it from a forklift, bro. I, I don't know what's going on at Goodwill, man, but hopefully we can find some good things today. Only one way to find out, and that's to go. Let's go, guys. All right, so first thing I found is a New York Giants polo. Kind of sucks that it doesn't say Giants on it and just NY, but for five bucks, it's a pretty good deal. The only issue is this. I'd have to like cut that really precisely to not make it look bad. This might be a pickup, I'll look that up. Also found, I don't like picking up Polo Ralph Lauren's, but I just have to make sure there's no stains, there's too much white on this shirt. And now we have to look through short sleeves. I was just about to move on, I was going really fast through this, and look at this, a Coca-Cola large short sleeve button down. That's actually so cool. People love Coca-Cola, man, I love Coca-Cola. I wouldn't wear this, but someone will. What'd you find, girlfriend? A lot. Whoa, that is a lot of stuff. Look at this. Maybe for me. <laughs> Look at this, what I just found. See, I've never heard of utility, but this actually looks pretty sick. I might actually look this up, but it's like, what do I look up? Because it just says utility. We'll put it in the cart, we'll check it out. Also, a girlfriend brought a bunch of stuff. And this is a brand new Nautica. $10. The issue with Nautica is that it's it doesn't sell fast, you know what I mean? And it could have a stain anywhere on a pure white shirt like this, which is scary. We'll see, I'll pick it up. Maybe, maybe $10 is worth it. 10 to 30, maybe? I went ahead and went through everything girlfriend found, and even though she found a lot, this is the only thing that's really kind of worth it. A dollar 18, three piece face mask will go for about 10, but all this other stuff's just not worth it. So I'm gonna take a look around myself. We'll see if we can find anything. Hello. Okay, a lot of stuff to go through, but very organized. What's this? Look at that. Sold and you sell? It's, uh, it's always like a lot of people will sell it, but none will sell. Ah, uh, oh well. I'll try typing it in, see if I can see if any sell that way. Let's jump pro. What's this? Water. Why does it feel so empty? Always got to check if the thing's in there. And that looks, it looks brand new. This is it, open box for about 30. They want eight though. Ah, these are so hard, man. But yeah, this is just, I don't wanna, I don't even wanna risk that, dude. What is this? Socks? When they put these in these bags, it's like impossible. What is this? <laughs> Like when it's in the bags, can't even see. I'm looking, girlfriend. I'm looking. Huh? Yeah, really, not much. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, but not anything that's really worth it. Oh, let's look up this. This is a, a humidifier. Uh, honestly, you can get these things on eBay from straight from China for cheap, so that's not really worth it either. Could always be something hidden. Like this, 1923 Russia. What is this? I have no idea. Oh, they got, look at that, 1910 Yugoslavia. All right, let's see, is it a nightclub today? Sort of. Let's see what we can find. Let's get a cart first. We stumbled upon this beauty, another brand new Greg Norman. Greg Normans have been popping up a lot. Oh wait, what is this? Rolling Hills Country Club, that kind of sucks, but 
it's a Greg Norman. We'll check it out. I found a Duke Nike polo. It has a little bit of problems on it though. I'm just getting so unlucky today. Yesterday I got really unlucky with uh, the driving side hustle. Now I'm getting unlucky with the uh, reselling hustle. I still have a whole another section over there though. You can always find some pretty interesting stuff though. We got an Athens 2004 Olympic shirt. Like that is actually really, really cool. 2004, when was that? Like 15 years ago? Almost 16. I'll pick that up to look at it. I wish LRG stuff sold better. This is a cool, ah, it's long sleeve, but ah, man, should I get this? I mean, it's cool. It has a cool design at least. It's not just the regular tree logo. Boom, look at that. Dragonfly Clothing Company. These things are awesome. And this has a pretty cool design on it. Again, what's the problem with all of these shirts having this problem right here today? But this is a definite pickup, even for five bucks. Not a great size medium, but that's a pickup right there. This is a brand you don't see me talk too much on the channel, but Taylor Bird, it's not... Okay, never mind. look at that. What the heck? This isn't really a brand that's really, really well known, but you could probably get it for like, I mean, if you can get it half off like this is for $2.50 and sell for 15, that's easy profit right there. But with those holes, I can't get anything. Hello, girlfriend. I was just about to turn off my thing. These are cool, but they're like, mo they're mostly for Amazon. We'll see though. About 25, 22, well, these are pre-owned. Is that one pre-owned? So these are all pre-owned. This is brand new, 35 bucks, $10 to, because uh, some of them are selling for 33. But this is media though. You can actually ship this media mail. That's one thing I didn't talk much about on my channel because I don't really do DVDs and VHSs and books. Actually, you can ship books, media mail too. I've actually bought things. I've bought PS4 games when I used to play PS4 and people would always ship it media mail. You're not allowed to do games media mail, but people do it anyway. And I never did it because I don't want to get my account deactivated for something petty like that. I'll pay the extra $2 in shipping. It's not gonna change much on my profits. Okay, well, I'm looking at the Greg Norman shirt now and there is a stain right here, which stains on new shirts suck because it's a pain to get off. And it's, yeah, oh, okay, I just saw this. This has multiple stains. So this is something that we don't bother with. That can be someone else's problem. What should we do with this? Honestly, Lifted Research Group, these sell in bells. The only thing that's nice about it is the fact that it has this nice print, but uh, finding someone to want that is just not for me, bro. I will pick up this Buck shirt though. It is a little pricey, $7, but it's a Nike dry fit NFL. We'll pick that up. This one isn't a bad pickup. And then we will pick up the Dragonfly clothing because that one is clean, no stains on it. And this one I probably will pick up just because I can ship it media mail. Good find. Let's see what else we can find now. Finally, we're done with clothes. What are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera. Can you see if it's on? Eh. On. Awesome. Three disc collector's edition. It's not new. Does it come? Comes with this. All right, let's see what we got here. Digital copy. And then here it is itself. And actually all the discs are in there. Huh. Might have to check this one out. You ever seen American Gangster? No. Me either. But it's a collector's edition three disc set. So you know what we have to do? We actually have to look it up. And it is not worth it. Okay. On to the next thing. Not expecting much. Why does this Goodwill even have a toy section? They don't, it's like they do not accept toys anymore. That, this, all of this used to be packed with toys. I used to find a bunch of things, but for some reason, there's nothing no more. I mean, there's this, but I mean, <laughs> that's stained. What are you gonna get for it? There's another Nutcracker. Is he, ah, he's broken though. Look, my, my man's bald now. We'll put him up here. We'll let him get a shine. There's a little piggy bank. Any money in there? No. Okay. These things, if you buy these, sell these on Amazon. These, you will not sell these on eBay. And if you do, you will not make money. You check the shirts? No. You said you did. No. Girlfriend, you lying to me? So you didn't check any of these? Well, girlfriend, we gotta check. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
You want to start on one side, I'll start on the other? You never know. Look at this, girlfriend. You, you telling me I was going to miss this right here? I have no idea what this is. Is there a way to, like, unfade clothes? Is there a type of detergent? Do you think this is faded? The top part, yeah. Oh, it has a stain on it anyway. Girlfriend, don't miss it. Look, look at this. Girlfriend wanted me to miss this. Man. Girlfriend, you said you checked this, bro. Oh, man, look at that. It's a little, it's a white shirt, which scares me, but this is a nice shirt. Whoa, man, it's a medium. I can't fit medium. Mm, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Well, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Girlfriend, you said you checked this stuff. Another Bucks one? It's not, oh, it is. Nike Dry Fit. Girlfriend. You don't, you don't do all the work. I do all the work. When we go home, look at this. Uh, this one has stains though. I don't speak English, don't talk to me. Here we go. Harley Davidson, five bucks. Little pricey, but we got a, oh, this is actually from St. Pete Clearwater. It's got a pretty cool thing on the back, design on the back, and Harley Davidson's get picked up. Okay, time to go through all of this stuff now. So without even looking it up, all I have to see is if it's clean, no rips, no... Uh, I always check under the armpits because people sweat. Um, but none of that. Clean shirt, Harley Davidson. That's a pickup. Buccaneers one though, we'll definitely pick it up. Another seven bucks, but... Actually, is, is this... This is medium, and the other one I have is medium as well. I could lot both of these up, or maybe sell... Uh, what I did have, you can either lot them up, or what you can do is sell them individually and then someone will buy both because that's how i sold two of my lily pulse ears someone just offered me 40 bucks for the both of them and i took it i had them up for 25 each so down to 40 for them uh, that's a good deal ford mustang shirt babe stop touching my butt that's a good deal 20 yeah that's a pretty good deal okay, say, what, oh, no you gotta check for stains you gotta check if it has stains, you gotta check if it has rips. See, girlfriend would go home and then she'd be like, oh crap. This is a pretty good pickup right here though. It's medium, not a great size. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no problem. What do we got here? See, I like, look at this one. So we got the Super Bowl, the NFL. Look at this. Feel it. It's like a real, it's like diamond. It's pretty cool. Only thing is, is it's white. <laughs> white, I, I really don't like buying white because you never know, aw, uh, why? What? See, this is the problem with Goodwill. <laughs> okay. No, it's a straight hole in the shirt. That's not okay. But look at that though. Such a nice shirt ruined no, by that won't. hole. Babe, you it. can see directly through it. If I wash it, it's still gonna have a hole. Look. That's so sad. Such a beautiful shirt, man. Such a beautiful shirt ruined. But you know what? We picked up quite a bit of stuff. So I think we're done. I think this was a pretty successful day. Yes, Sersky, we just got out of the second Goodwill. What do we got here, man? We got some Coca-Cola action. It's a button down short sleeve. It was $5. I'll probably get $15 for it, which is not bad. This one girlfriend found what I was talking about. You can ship media mail. Wonder Woman, the complete collection. It was $10, but when I can get $30 for something and it'll ship for like two bucks, I had to go for it. Now these shirts are beautiful, but the one thing that really makes me upset is you see how the tag is right here? hole right back there i'm hoping that when i take this tag out that it doesn't uh girlfriend slow down man i, I know you want to go home girlfriend but you gotta, you gotta slow down a little bit uh buccaneers dry fit seven dollars i'll probably get like 20 or something what you laughing about we over here doing business girlfriend there we go harley davidson this one's actually from okay we'll do the front harley davidson was five bucks very good brand man very very good brand st petersburg clearwater so it's coming from my neck of the woods man dragonfly clothing company this stuff sells very very fast there is a very big market for dragonfly clothing and uh you know I, okay girlfriend is ready to go <laughs> i can't even i can't get through i can't get through two sentences you put it away all right what we got here this one girlfriend found let me go ahead and be quick ford mustang it's a shirt three bucks there you go girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the last thing or there might be one more thing but we got a Buccaneers another one of these again hole right there really makes me real oh, dude that's such a big hole it really like dude they I was saying in there they might as well 
they might as well take a hole puncher. I know the sun's that way. They might as well take a hole puncher and hole punch the thing in before they. Uh, there was something else. I know there was something else no, in here. No, no, no. Oh, there is. My yeah, best. there is. Yes, I knew there was something else. And masks. A <laughs> dollar eighteen, three piece frozen masks. I'll probably get like ten dollars for that. Well, there it is. The Goodwill reselling journey for today has been completed. We went to two Goodwills, found a lot of stuff in the second Goodwill. I'm still really upset about those holes, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because I thought they were like little holes, but they're kind of like bigger holes. Why? Why? They take such a per the, the white one. I don't know if I showed you guys. There was a white shirt in there as well. The hole was huge for the tag that they made, so I ended up putting that one back. Such nice shirts, man. Ruined. I could have probably made so much money, but ah, I'll still sell the shirts. I'll probably list that there is a tiny little hole where the tag went, and it'll probably still sell anyway for a good price. Someone's gonna buy it because it's not too visible when it's on you, unless someone's like looking at it like this. Not I many people are gonna see it. it. You should have just bought it. I told you. Well, no, not the other one. The other one had a huge hole. You could see that one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Hopefully, Saturday I go to garage sales. That's going to be really fun. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to go in the mornings, garage sailing, and then in the afternoons, I'm going to be doing my regular DoorDash video. That's how I plan to do it. Going to be a little tiring, but no one said success came easy. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good night, guys.